Hey YouTube, uh, Wet Hair Vaughn here. Uh, gonna just pop in real quick before the video starts to let you guys know that this vid is a little outdated. I was originally not even gonna upload it because the character ended up dying. I was gonna redo the guide with a little more detail and actually do a showcase with it, uh, but the character's dead. So, uh, but I've been getting asked about it a lot in chat because, uh, and just in general, because people um, have been seeing the build in the background of the tips video. And I just wanted to get it up and whatnot. And yeah, so uh, there's a lot of upgrades you could do. There were a lot of upgrades that I did do. Um, this build, by the time it died, ended up making it to Endless 45. Uh, and we just kind of got one shot by a enormous crit pack. Uh, if you've seen the comfortable clip, uh, it's on my channel. Uh, exclamation point comfy. Uh, and yeah. I just wanted to get that out of the way, let you guys know that this guide is a little outdated from where it ended up, but this is still more than enough to get you guys rolling and just potential upgrades are kind of obvious. And yeah, uh, feel free to ask me any questions in my chat and I will see you guys soon. Love you. Bye. Yo, yo, what's up, YouTube? It is your boy V and I'm just uh, popping in real quick. Uh, I haven't done a Chronicom video in a little bit. Uh, I've, there's been a lot of deaths. There's been a lot of deaths. <laughs> Uh, but I'm here with chat. Chat, say hi, YouTube. And we're gonna go over the build I've been playing. Uh, this is my second time rolling this build because we died on Endless 16. So, build right now we're doing is a Dancing Blade uh, Templar in Hardcore. We're using the two-piece Valkyrie set here. Uh, YouTube money, damn straight. Oh, but I said damn, we're demonetized. If I was even monetized. But yeah, uh, so we're using two-piece Valkyrie. We're going to use the chest and the shield. We have uh, the whole build, by the way. So this build is a four minimum, four legendary requirement. You absolutely need a two-piece Valkyrie, and you absolutely need um, the Ring of Blades and the Tome of Vengeance. And ideally, it's a five legendary build because... You realistically, it's it, ideally it's a six legendary build, but it can function on five. It can function on four, but I don't think I can recommend playing this through the campaign um, because you want to be able to turn your Tome of Vengeance into a rune and apply it to the Valkyrie shield. Uh, that just it gives you a lot of safety, a lot of tankiness. The block because obviously it's a shield; it's got a lot of life on it. it gives you block chance, etc. Uh, we're still working on perfecting our gear, but we've got just about everything. Uh, the only thing that we're going to be changing out right now, uh, in, as soon as we get the drops, uh, right now we're using the one for all set and we're going to be switching to the all for one set. Um, so I'll just go from the slots down. Uh, but that's your four required uniques. You need, or, uh, legendaries. You need the two piece Valkyries. I use the chest and shield. You want Tome of Vengeance rune on the shield. And then you want the Ring of Blades ring or the Ring of Blades rune crafted onto a ring. And again, I would recommend if you don't have one for all, or I'm sorry, if you don't have all for one, you can use the master set. You can use all for one. Or one for all? Fuck. I always say the wrong one when I'm trying to talk about these, these rings. Um, but that's about it. Like you, this build functions on four, on four legendaries and a rune. That's it. That's all you need. Um, but if we're going into more min maxi things, currently I'm using a Lucilla's Vision with Lifeguard, uh, crafted onto it. Uh, this gives you a ton of damage based on your life on hit. It also gives you a ton of damage reduction, which is nice. Uh, a better option, a slightly better option would be Weyrick's Crown with Lucilla's Vision. Um, or if you wanted a really good damage and survivability, if you wanted to focus a little more on the survivability side of things, then I would say do Weyrick's with Lifeguard. It's just going to make you dumb tanky. Because that's, you're getting 50% increased health out of the helmet alone, and you're getting 50% increased damage and, and mana. It's stupid. Uh, you're getting a ton of damage and, and health from Weyrix. You're getting the damage reduction from uh, Lifeguard. It's really good together. Uh, but I'm opting for Lucilla's Vision and Lifeguard. Why? Because it's what dropped for me. <laughs> uh, second, we're using Council of uh, Gavel, Council's Gavel crafted onto a Balgar's Binding. Balgar's Binding is the most bog-standard uh, hardcore thing that you can do. 
Uh, this gives you a ton of stagger. It gives you damage reduction, or it, rather, it reduces your damage taken from stagger, uh, and it gives you damage based on how much you have staggered. And then Council's Gavel is interesting because it synergizes with our weapon, which is uh, Hammer Blade. Um, Council's Gavel turns all your sword skills into hammers or treats them as hammer skills. And then uh, Hammer Blade gives you a ton of uh, hammer damage um, and attack speed. Uh, and then obviously on the we're, we are a bleed build so we're from because of the uh, Valkyrie. So we're using blood scent on our weapon. It speaks for itself. It gives your companions, which is our swords uh, that we have permanently, just a ton of damage up to 300%. It's stupid. Um, on top of that, uh, so like I said, I'm using, uh, one for all right now. I would like to switch this to all for one, but they're really rare. I'm literally just waiting on one of them to drop. I have one already and I can reroll if depending if it's the one I already have. Um, we already talked about the shield, uh, Tome of Vengeance crafted onto, uh, Valkyrie. Uh, shield, you just kind of roll things. You're going to see a pattern a lot on my gear, by the way, where I have a lot of shadow resistance. Uh, I'm not going to go too big and too deep into the actual stat rolls, but the shadow resistance is because our chest uh, is using the elementium rune, which makes all of your resistances except your highest resistance increase by 50% of your highest resistance. I believe it rolls up to 60%, um, which is, I can actually probably go cap that out right now. So I will do that after this. And... Basically, if you look at my resistances, I have capped Shadow Res and everything else sitting at 65. Uh, if I come over here, it's a little choppy because my computer does not like recording and streaming at the same time, which is why I was trying to just stand still. But let's see if I can um, get this bumped up. Yeah, so now that's capped at 60. And you're going to see we're, we're just shy. And that's, that's something that's easy to bump up. Actually, I, I should have enough where I can do... God, this is so choppy. I'm glad I don't do this on a regular basis. Oh, I'm out of memory essence. All right, so it doesn't matter. Anyway. So once I get my shadow res bumped up a little bit more, like I greater augment uh, the shadow res on this, I should be in the clear. Uh, Elementium is fantastic. It lets you have capped resistance in Endless. Uh, endless is Mythic 15, which means you have minus 50 to your all resist. Uh, with enough shadow resistance uh, add on your gear and elementium, you will be capped regardless. So that's nice. Um, I already kind of touched on the weapon. Hammer blade with um, blood scent. Just good synergy with uh, the build that we're doing. Uh, the boots are advancing army plus staggering boots. You can do these. I don't think it matters what way you roll them, whether you do advancing army on stagger boots or stagger boots on advancing army. I think it's fine either way. Um, it's just, it's it, move speed equals damage. Also stagger. Uh, stagger, please get, if you're playing hardcore especially, get stagger on things. You don't have to do it on all of your gear. I have it on my boots. I have it on my chest. I have it on this, obviously. Um, if I were playing a more melee build, I would probably do something else, but it is what it is. Um, by the way, the stats on the all for one, uh, the one for alls rather, don't worry about too much. These are just kind of random things. The only thing that's actually worth crafting, um, copying directly is the ring. Uh, this, I just have this mana regen thing because it helps, uh, early on the, you don't have enough mana on hit to fully sustain uh your sword hurl so it's really nice uh that's about that's about it for the gear um it's it like i said it's not too bad on gearing there's only there's but there are i think what six let's see one two three four five and then three greater runes there's about eight true legendaries that you want so it's not a super starter build but it can be It'll get you going if you really want it to. Uh, but I would recommend probably something else early, early. Moving on to the skills, I'm just going to go over briefly. Uh, talk about the bread and butter more. I'm not going to really get into the passives. So I'll just go over the bread and butter. Um, physical tree. Go vengeance, obviously. Uh, we are a physical build. We're using Valkyries. Uh, Valkyries whole gimmick. We're, sta we're stacking sharp steel. So, of course, we're going to want deep wounds as well. Um... Oh, by the way, once you have your uh, all-for-one, 
Um, you're going to want to craft uh, chilled blood onto the amulet, uh, which makes it so chilled enemies take more damage from bleeds. It's just a lot of extra damage. Um, but yeah, that, 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 that's, that's the only thing I forgot with the gear. So we're stacking bleeds, infinite, uh, ton of attack speed. Companions hit like a truck. They stack huge bleeds. Um, before, on the last iteration of this build, before it died, I was hitting like 1.3 trillion dot ticks on bosses. So that's cool. In Mythic 16, so that's kind of cool. Uh, we're already ramping billions on bosses, so that's fun. And we, we've only been on this character for, I think, like six, six and a half hours. Um, we have a point here in Slice. Don't worry about it. It's literally just for travel. You could put this anywhere. You could even put it in the default attack. We don't use it. It's fine. Um, but the bread and butter, we stack auras and we use sword hurl. We don't need the spec dancing blades because we have the level five permanently from our, uh, runes. Uh, we take blade maiden because bleed damage is cool. Um, and sword hurl, that's our big boy. Uh, sword hurl is going to give us, uh, enemies hit by it are going to get weakened. It has a 25% uh, chance to double cast and uh, field training. This gives us a ton of damage. Uh, we pick up an aura in here. Flurry gives us a ton of attack speed and movement speed when it's active. We have Taunt, which pulls everything together for us and ha causes it to take increased damage. Um, that's really all you want here. You just pick up the, this regen. It's not bad. Um, and then in here, we're using Plea. Plea gives us a ton of health and mana on hit, which is how we sustain our mana costs. Um, right now, like... I'm in the position where if I'm doing too much damage for the content I'm able to do, like I can't survive higher level content, but our damage is too high for the content that we're on. Uh, we're on Mythic 7 right now, so we're killing things way too quickly for our mana on a hit to actually be as effective as I would like it to be. So it's... It, we're in a weird spot. I just need to finish maxing out my uh, Elementium and get a couple other damage things and then probably max out my Balgars and we'll be good to go. Um, other things we pick up here, we just have two points of expulsion. It doesn't really proc off anything. It can, I think, proc off of Hollowed, but I never see it proc. It, it, either way, it's irrelevant. Um, but we have Grace Shield. Grace is amazing. We have a ton of reach from here. Um, Plea, by the way, these nodes are insane uh holy auras give you more mana on hit and then this one increases the effectiveness of all auras regardless of element so you're getting more attack and movement speed more damage uh more health and mana on hit it's absolutely bonkers the effect on this by the way doubles it uh and then we have hollowed which is proccing as fast as we can attack um it's just free damage like, it's not the bulk of our damage, but it's free damage. So that's really nice. Uh, the gear, like, the, the, the skills are very simple. Like I said, we're just stacking auras, and then we have our one attack. Um, I should go over our codexes. We're using two codexes. Our main codex, and by the way, you'll see I have everything mapped to left mouse button. And then I have my soul warp codex, so we can just use the warlock's teleport. God, this looks like... I'm trying not to move too much because it looks really bad with the frame rate. I don't know why it does this when I'm recording and streaming. Don't worry about it. But uh, you'll see here, this is our that's this is our whole thing that we do. You'll see Hollowed is just deciding to hit over there. It has no effect on our damage. And we just stack infinite dots. Uh, this is dot damage, not hit damage that I have showing right now. Um, if I come over here, you'll see this uh, too. It's even better on non-resist. So that's our boss damage. This is our clear damage. It's way too high for Mythic 7. That's where we're at. Uh, but yeah, so our codexes, I have uh, Soul Warp. I have a Health Pot and Mana Pot mapped to the same button. It just gives me more regen and more mana sustain. I don't think I would change that at all. And if you want that many, uh, if, you, if you want just infinite pots, just talk to Sarek over here. It's fine. They're cheap. Don't worry about it. It's worthwhile. Uh, and then our other codex is Healing Touch. It's a longer cooldown, and since they're both codexes, they share a cooldown. This is basically my, like, oh, shit, I need to log out button. Um, I will hit that, pause the game, 
and then exit to menu. <laughs> that's our, that's our, oh, we're playing hardcore. Bye. I don't want to die. I don't want to deal with your bullshit. Um, so yeah, that's the build basically. Uh, I'm not going to do a showcase right now because, uh, it's going to be super laggy. Um, but that's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, we stream every day, by the way, twitch.tv slash DHVs. I hope to see you there. We've had a lot of new faces in chat. Shout out to chat. You guys are awesome. Uh, they've been keeping song requests going all night. It's been a lot of fun. We've been answering questions. I'm going to have um, some guides coming up on the channel soon. And I will see you guys soon. I love you. And bye-bye. <laughs>